But the fact is you can't always be prepared for everything. And everyone in this episode is dealing with a situation that they thought they had control of, but they don't. Even Lalo, because Lalo thought he had the whole situation to control until he tried to call Hector and realized that they tapped the phones. And that totally changed his plan. He was no longer in control of that situation. Gus, he thinks he's in control, but he's not. He's not in control because Lalo is still out there. Howard, <laughs> he's obviously not. Howard thinks he's in control oh, wow. of the situation at, at the conference, but that obviously spirals way out of control. And not only does he think he's got the conference under control, he thinks he has Kim and Jimmy under control and what they're trying to do. And as we see that he does not in the slightest, he, he even thinks he's prepared for them, but he's not. And um, of course, Jimmy and Kim, they have control of the situation all the way through. You know, hey, we did it. We're all right. We can even handle Howard when he comes to see us. But once again, they're out of control of their situation as well. That makes a lot of sense. Nail, meathead. <laughs> <laughs> Howard essentially becomes Chuck in this episode. And I'm going to talk about that more when we get there. Like Chuck did, he thought he had everything under control. He thought he had everything in the back, especially that comes to a head in the trial during uh, chicanery. Mm -hmm. He's so sure of himself. You know, Howard at the meeting, like, oh, no, get those photos off my desk. And they just look crazier and crazier. Mm -hmm. 